Hi everybody and welcome. I'm Coach Carolyn and today we're here to talk about your lead arm, why it is so important, what position it needs to be in and what that does for your contact and your swing in general. So let's jump into it. All right, so your lead arm, for me that's my left arm because I'm a righty and if you're a lefty it would be your right arm. It's super important to have that pretty straight at the top of the backswing and if you look at the different tour players you'll see that pretty much everybody's lead arm is fairly straight. I don't think there's one tour player out there that looks like this. And there is some tour players that over swing and where you see the club go past parallel, but that's usually because they're super, super flexible and because they turn their shoulders more than 90 degrees. So if I keep my left arm straight and I can turn like, you know, I have a lot of flexibility in my back and I also have a lot of wrist flexibility, I can still manage to get that club past parallel without actually bending this arm. So again, there is really no tour player out there that has a bent left arm. If you find one, let me know in the comments below. I'm always happy to learn, but generally we're going for a straight lead arm at the top of the backswing. Why do we want to do this? So we want to build width in the backswing because width really allows us to get close and to pull in our club into our impact and as you always see that right elbow is nice and tucked that right trail elbow if you want to call it that is always kind of tucking into your right pocket or into your trail pocket in the downswing so if we're already bent in our lead arm our trail arm our right elbow here is also more bent and then golf is an action reaction sport what tends to happen if you have a very kind of lax and kind of bent lead arm what do you have to do your clubs pass parallel and your body first before it needs to rotate down to the ball it needs to get up right it needs to get the club back past parallel into the downswing and what do you see here what is this that's right i'm casting right i'm throwing the club from my top position down at my ball. And we all know that is what we want to avoid, like everything we can possibly avoid, right? We want to avoid this, like we want to avoid Monday when it's Sunday. Like, you know, you catch my drift. We do not want to do this. So in order to avoid the casting, that's one thing that really helps if you keep this lead arm straight, because if you take it back to the top again, now Golf is a game of opposites. Now you're wide and you can just start rotating. And you see, you don't see much difference here. In my top position, if you look at my arm structure up here, it's kind of what we refer to as that whole pattern of your arms. So the arm structure at the top doesn't really change as you're transitioning down. You're not all of a sudden starting to do this, right? I mean, hopefully you don't. If you do, then definitely keep watching this video. But hopefully when you go to this position, you can just start turning, you can start Get shifting your weight into your left side and as you're shifting into your left side your right arm can drop and it really stays straight and your left arm stays straight through impact and it only ever really folds once you're pretty much halfway through the through swing through the finish that's when you start seeing it fold and release and go into a nice high finish so now i want to show you how we're going to train to keep that left or lead elbow straight because sometimes it's really hard to feel sometimes you're up here and you're like no it's definitely totally straight it's super straight and then you look and you're like oh, it's not it's not straight so that's golf feel and real are very far away from each other usually unfortunately but that's why we have to have good drills which i'm going to show you now so i'm going to take my golf club it's all you need i'm going to put it kind of where i my little armpit is and i'm going to put it right where my um club it is so now We've clenched our club under our armpit and we're just going to pretend to hold another club. And you can hold another club if you want to, but for now, you know, for simplicity's sake, we're just having this one. Now, as we are going back, you're going to feel that shaft hit your lead elbow almost halfway back. And now I want you to push that up. I want you to push that up. And I do realize that you're not going to get like really, really far up into your backswing. Like you're not going to have a super high backswing position, but that's not what we're going for. What I want you to feel is this. Feel like you were bouncing the shaft off of your left arm, because if that bends, your club and your grip is gonna point downward. You want this to point up. So now, I like that a lot because it's actually activating the muscles you wanna flex, you wanna push against that weight. It's just like in the gym. If you're in a gym and you do whatever, any type of weight, and you'd kind of like push it up and you push it up and you have resistance and then somebody takes that weight away, what happens? You're like, whee, and your arms shoot up, right? So same thing here. If we're pressing against this shaft, 
going up and we're really having to press that elbow up, then as we are doing this in our actual swing and in our practice swings, we're going to notice that we're going to want to press that elbow up as well. And that's really what's going to help us keep that elbow straight when you go back to the top position. So try it next time. I really love this drill. It is so simple. All you need is a club and it really activates those muscle groups that you want to activate to be able to push up. Now let's hit a golf ball with keeping that lead arm super straight. I'm gonna do a little practice swing here, pushing up, pushing up. Perfect little draw. So have fun with this drill, really try it. It really gives you a good muscle memory for your real swing. And I can't wait to hear how you like this drill. If this is your first time on my channel, welcome. I'm so happy you're here. Make sure you like, subscribe and comment below because I always love to hear from my followers.